I'll squeeze in my Jurassic Park 3 question so I get it in because probably no surprise here. I truly do have a great appreciation for every single installment of that franchise, but there's one thing that stands out that people love to share on social media as a meme now, and I'm wondering your take on it. The very first time you read the scene in Jurassic Park 3 when Alan has the dream and wakes up and the raptor says his name, what was your first impression when you read that? Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's it. Uh, um, um, yeah, I, I, I was just talking to someone earlier in the day who, who said, I, do, I really like Jurassic Park 3, and it gets, it gets, um, it, it gets an unfair treat. I think he was, he was from Rotten Tomatoes. I think it was him. And I said, thank you very much. Um, I agree that the last the last ten minutes are way too easy and, and and way too hurried. But I think up to that point, it's pretty damn good. Uh, but more than that, for me, I'd, um, by the time I got to number three, probably a bit late in the day, I'd sort of worked out how to play that character, <laughs> and, and um, which I hadn't really quite gotten around to in, 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 in the first one. I was still trying to work out uh, what, how, how do you play that guy uh, in the hat? Something that comes completely naturally to someone like Harrison Ford, not naturally to me. And something that um, Chris Pratt, fantastic guy, has given a lot of thought to and really worked out how to do it. And you have to think out how to do that. It's a special skill. It's not, um, it, you're not just playing a character. You, you need to apply a whole bunch of, you, you need a whole skill set. You need a whole armory to play an action hero. And, um, and I wish I'd known what those skills were <laughs> when we, when we did the first one, but there we are. You're so self-deprecating, and all I all I see is is confidence in basically everything that you're describing right now in Alan Grant in the first movie. <laughs> well, that's good. I got away with it then. <laughs> you most certainly did. Here, here's a weird Thor Ragnarok question for you, because this has been a very hot topic of conversation among the Collider staff, and it's a, it's a little offbeat, I'm warning you. Okay. So, are you, Matt Damon and, Luke, and uh, Luke Hemsworth, are you playing as guardian actors, or did Loki kidnap the real Sam Neill and he's forcing ah, 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 ah. I can't take credit for that. It's something swirling around social media, but we've been having fun with the idea. That's hilarious. <laughs> but look, I mean, when, when I went to see the film, <laughs> Because uh, I'm not really entirely, you know, uh, um, nervously, you know, rusted on to the Marvel to the Marvel franchise. I was completely baffled by so many things. Okay, and I went with friends who sort of knew a bit more than me. And said, what, do, do you know what planet we're on at the moment? And is 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 that is that Hopkins or or is it? I, was that like I, I <laughs> and they were explaining it? They said, "You're in the film. Why do we have to explain it to you?" I said, "I, I, I just, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bit lost. I'm truly lost here." But um, no, I shouldn't really confess to that. I should really know what's going on. <laughs> it's, it is, it, it is a, a strange. It is just, it's, it's not actually. It's that it looks like Tony Hopkins, but it's not. 